Beloved Masters, there are a great number of brave star seed souls who are memory seed activators at many different vibrational pattern levels. This is so that the memory seed atoms, which contain the new Aquarian Divine Blueprint, may be activated within pre-designated crystalline structures in the great caverns deep within the Earth. Another part of the Memory Seed Activator's Aquarian Divine Blueprint mission is to assist in the task of activating the newly created sacred sites or the specific, predetermined ley line conjunctions upon the Earth's surface. This process has been designed so, at the appropriate time, the pre-programmed Memory Seed atoms would be supplied to activate these sacred energy centers. It is a part of the Aquarian Divine Blueprint, a core creative process designed to occur between humanity and the Earth. Each and all of the activations, which will initiate the necessary changes for the evolvement of the Earth and humanity, are a cooperative effort amongst Gaia, humanity and the great beings of light, under the direction of our Mother or Father God. You, as light workers, are considered caretakers of the Earth. You came here to be a part of the great transition into a new age of enlightenment. There are memory seed activations that began, many years ago, within the mid-plane realms of the fourth dimension. This process could not begin until the vibrational frequencies of the Earth, and also a great number of human souls, were attuned to the frequency patterns of the mid-fourth dimension. As this transition, from the first four levels of the fourth dimension into the frequencies of the three higher planes of 40 occurred, there are many dear souls who actually began to help activate the violet flames of transformation, along with some of the memory seed atom frequency patterns of the new divine blueprint within the earth. They also acted as the placeholders during the early stages of the ascension process, by anchoring ascension columns of light at various locations around the planet. So now we will move forward from there. As we have taught you in our past messages, the vibrational energies of the person who is doing the activation must have the frequency patterns that will trigger an activation of the stored essence within the great crystalline structures. We have explained that most of these activations are not time activated, but event activated. However, be aware that there are different levels of the activation process. As people on the beginning path began to move into the mid-fourth dimension, there were those who were led to take groups to the sacred sites. That is the most popular way, and it is what you might say the most basic form of energy activation of the violet flame and of the Earth's crystalline energy. However, remember, there is power in numbers, and those endeavors have greatly assisted the Mother Earth in the initial process of transmuting the energies from within, the decompression, the clearing of the great caverns and the labyrinths, and great portions of the negativity that has compressed and contaminated Gaia's essence in her physical being. Now let us focus on those of you who are moving into and tapping into the fifth dimensional frequencies and rarefied environment. This is the more advanced phase of this cosmic earth or humanity activation. So, as an example, one of the great energy sources is MT Shasta, CA, and there is another energy vortex within Lake Tahoe, CA. There is an ancient portal, a sacred site, known as Grimes Point in the Nevada USA desert. There are many places such as these around the earth. Many of them now intersect, and many others were connected in past ages. When one of these cosmic energy power centers is activated, it immediately begins to radiate the frequency patterns of divine light to the other predetermined components thereby creating the triangles and geometric patterns that will assist each portal to move solidly into place or to integrate the higher frequency energy more quickly and in a more dynamic way. What we wish impress upon you at this time is that the star seed the geometric pattern holders of the new divine blueprint are now, personally, in the process of having their own prime memory seed atom more fully activated. This is so they may gradually be brought to their full potential. IT is time. Due to the formidable negative events that are now occurring around the world, it is of vital importance that dramatic steps be taken to speed up the transition process, for the Earth and for all sentient beings on Earth. Each person was or will be guided to specific locations in order to supply his or her particular portion of the geometric pattern of the future at that location. The crystalline memory seed atoms are activated when these prime activators go to each of these sacred sites in a pre-programmed way and at a pre-designed frequency level they activate a specific portion of the divine blueprint. Then, over time, others will add their seed atom frequencies, 
and so the memory seed atom crystals may begin to expand in light power and release more and more of the divine blueprint. It is like adding more programmed energy power. Or, adding more electromagnetic wattage to the source that is waiting to be activated. In addition, as each person transmits their programmed memory seed atom energy to the earth or to other souls, and in turn, they will also receive the blessing of a memory seed atom infusion or energy activation. There must always be a mutual energy exchange, whether positive or negative. There are many of these sacred carriers, and their unique vibrational patterns coalesce and blend as they activate the different sacred sites around the earth. The events on earth and within humanity have progressed so that the time has arrived for the prime event to take place. The prime event is now ready to be primed. It is time for all of the activations around the earth and within humanity to take place. So the prime activators are now going to be inspirationally guided to these places, in order to add the components they embody, memory seed atoms to infuse the earth with the higher frequencies of creator consciousness for the new age of Aquarius. This sacred process can be accomplished from afar, it is not restricted to the person's presence at the physical location. You do not have to be physically present at the site. However, it is much more powerful for the sacred location and for you if you are physically there for the activation. It is something that we can easily guide and assist you in accomplishing we can ease and open the way. That is part of the process the divine dispensations that are being allowed at this time for those who have made a commitment within the very depths of their inner being, for that is what it will take to successfully accomplish this important mission. So as you are aware, many of you are being brought together and many more of you are stepping up to claim and fulfill your divine mission. However, many have also fallen by the wayside. They are not to be condemned, their time will come at a future clarion call. There is always a brave soul ready to take their place, for this process will not be denied. IT will be completed. IT will successfully take place. This divine activation is beginning to grow in intensity and to swiftly coalesce. The higher, more powerful rays of transformation are bombarding and infusing the earth and humanity. It is of vital importance that this process begins to take place at this time. So the inspiration and the divine discontent that many of you feel are because your path of destiny is calling, the time is now so be patient, beloveds, and allow your future to unfold gradually. You will be astounded as everything begins to fall into place. You have earned this divine dispensation. Because of the radiance that you are now projecting out onto the world, you have earned it. The time that has been long foretold is upon you, and you shall prevail. You have proven that you are tried and true. You are much beloved. I am Archangel Michael. Overlighted by Archangel Michael Rana Vezan or Sacred Scribe Earth Time and Higher Dimensional No Time Rana Earth Time and Higher Dimensional No Time consists of programmed memory seed atoms of a broad range of frequency patterns and frequency, sequences of events. There is a premise that everything is happening simultaneously in the now moment. From a human perspective, how can that be possible? If this is true, then we must be living all of our lives, simultaneously, via a vast number of separate holograms throughout the cosmos. At this time, we will focus only on this sub-universal experience, and our earthly third or fourth dimensional environment, along with our earthly lives within the seven, and eventually, the twelve planes of consciousness within this sub-universe. In the far distant future, we will experience solar system ascension, then galactic and sub-universal ascension, and so on. Time, as we know it, exists only within the third and fourth dimensions of our physical reality world of duality and polarity. We are living in a dense, time-space continuum or reality consisting of the first though the fourth dimensions and sub-dimensions, with each dimension having multiple levels of complex frequency patterns or frequency sequences of events. The lower the density, the more solid, dense, material objects and our physical vessels become. It takes longer and a much more focused effort and energy to manifest our visions. We have entered a new era. We are experiencing a phenomenon, whereby it seems that time is dramatically speeding up. The reason why is this, the higher the frequency patterns are, the faster the creative process speeds up and manifests. 
the frequency or vibrational patterns become more and more refined. Physical and material mass becomes less dense, it very gradually becomes more ethereal, delicate, light-infused, and spiritual. Beginning with the fifth dimension and in all succeeding higher dimensional and sub-dimensional levels, each higher subplane consists of much higher, more refined, vibrational patterns. The higher the memory seed atom frequency patterns are, the less dense material objects in our physical vessels become. Not necessarily in physical mass, but in frequency patterns of divine light. Therefore, within the highest realms of the universe and beyond, the process of manifestation is instantaneous, which creates the reality that everything is happening simultaneously. There is no time. All creation consists of Supreme Creator inspired, programmed, white fire memory seed atoms of a broad range of frequency patterns and frequency sequences of events, which has resulted in a vast number of holographic universes, sub-universes, and so on, throughout the cosmos. We exist in a cosmic hologram that contains an immeasurable number and variety of holograms. It consists of a perfect divine blueprint created by the Supreme Creator, which was destined to be repeated at every level and dimension throughout manifested creation. A hologram could be described as a sphere or geometric pattern having a divine blueprint of creation of any size, shape, or dimension, which is self-contained and all-inclusive within itself. Membranes of creator light surround each hologram, separating each holographic blueprint from other individualized creations. Our birth hologram contains our divine blueprint for each lifetime. We are also affected by seven generations of ancestral past lives, both positively and negatively. The highlights of all our past lives experiences are stored within etheric holograms, memory seed atoms within our DNA. Our adult home and current family hologram, in marriage or intimate partnerships, we are subject to and influenced by the other person's personal holographic environment. Our partner's holographic environment is also influenced by ours. We are also influenced by the divine blueprint and frequency patterns of all the holograms within this sub-universal hologram, dependent upon the frequency patterns of our current soul song. As we balance and harmonize any negative frequency patterns contained in each hologram, we gradually move upward into the higher frequencies contained within that particular hologram, until we reach the highest frequency patterns therein. Within our personal divine blueprint hologram for this lifetime, we then move into the next higher frequency hologram to continue our passage throughout the fourth dimensional subplanes. Our goal is to ultimately rejoin our sacred triad within the entry subplane level of the fifth dimension. This is the time we have been waiting for. Angel Blessings, Rana